Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh. Um, I'm just tuning in real quick to make a kind of like a, a response video in regards to some of the things that people have been saying on in the comment section of the last Atlantean video that I made a while back. And one of those things I wanted to address was that you know someone said that they didn't think that the Atlantean language resembled any language we know today and they don't think that the Atlanteans sound anything like British people now that's the, that's the thing the key word is that their Atlantean culture was like the British Empire I'm not saying that it mirrored it exactly like there's something actually was kind of more like the German Empire as more like the Nazis you know what I mean like a, a lot of their their mannerisms and things like that you know and how the soldiers would behave and like you know people in like the upper echelons and of government and their, their officers and their like heads of state it was very like kind of military type of stuff that was going on they were like a very militaristic type of society and and everything like that and this is based on i've had numerous dreams about the atlantis and stuff like that where i've just there are certain herbs that you could take you know you can look it up that can help improve your visions and you know and and like and i honestly think these are remote viewing type of things that i'm experiencing i don't think this is just stuff that's being made up but yeah there's certain things that you can take certain herbs that can kind of allow you to delve back possibly even into like your past life and everything like that that's how deep this stuff is so i'm just going to clarify like you know i think that yeah you can you can form a relationship with the universe and things like that to where it can reveal to you because you are of the universe and the universe is in you you can recover you can have visions you can those things i think dreams they have meaning you know and, and some of the stuff may not make sense some of it is that you might be making it up and then there's instances where there's actual factual information that's encoded in these visions and these dreams that you're having Okay, so having said all that, I really do think that it's the Germanic peoples and the Celtic people are the descendants of the Atlanteans at a particular point in time. And is the was the language, you know, the same or whatever, whether it is or not, it just there are still key elements that are in our culture right now as far as the language and everything like that, how our society is structured and everything that mirrors what I saw that was in Atlantis you know so yeah maybe the language was different or whatever it was which I'm sure it was and and when I would have some of these visions and I'd be it's like I was flying and I could see all this kind of stuff the way the Atlanteans spoke it was like a combination of like Germanic and, and uh, 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 Irish or you know Celtic uh, uh, types of sounds uh, that they were using and everything like that when they would speak and I do I did see a map that uh, that was that they had created and the continent that were that would become the land that we're living on now because it was smaller then uh where it was you know it was it was a little uh smaller than what it is now but the continent that would become europe per se let's say uh or eurasia you know was young at that time and it was starting to change and it was named tier on is what it was named a name for, uh, that sounds very Irish, you know what I mean? That sounds, you know, uh, like a very Celtic or like Britonic or something like that. You know what I mean? The type of names that they that they that they would use, you know, um, uh, was also another another thing as well. Like people's names, uh, like there'd be an Atlantean. They had names like Tywin and stuff like that. Very similar to what we would the shit that you see, you know, uh, in English. You know, Anglo-Saxon names, stuff like that. They had names that were kind of like that. They spelt them a little different and everything like that, but it was very similar. And then the stuff that they were, the many, of the, again, the sounds they, they would say, it'd be like, Tir no no, Tir Irish to fit be and shit like that. And they sounded a little bit like that. Atlanteans, when you hear Atlanteans talk, you know, I mean, they're like, Yike, Yike, keep it in boko, ah. You know, and they're very energetic in how they speak and stuff like that. You know, the Lemurians versus the Atlanteans. The Atlanteans, were, it was like all proud. Like, everybody's head would be turned up. And they'd be like, oh, ear to my noggin, yeah. And, and, yeah, you know, and all that type of shit. They would be saying stuff like that, you know. Um, and, and saying it proudly, 
you know, and, and, and in that with that type of um British type of attitude that we what we call now British Atlanteans were doing that. I mean they're standing there wearing like uniforms and shit. They got sashes and stuff like that and, and all the they when they're when they're decked out, it was like the Nazis, dude. The type of uniforms that they had and everything like that, all their the, the various decorations and badges and all that kind of stuff they would have on their on their troops, it was like that. And then they would just be all like standing there, you know, in formation and shit and like all proud and everything, you know, very similar to like the Nazis. You know what I mean? And they had a greeting when they would be like like the Romans. It was very similar, like where the hand would go out. It wouldn't go up. It wasn't going up. It was like you know, you know, and they would do this type of stuff. You know, these their type of uh, salutes that they would do to each other. Like they walk up somebody, and they would be doing that. You know, and um, that was like the Atlantean salute that I saw. You know, um, no one else had salutes. No one else had that kind of structure and order in the military like it was with the Atlanteans. Very similar to what you see with the Romans and the British.